Look, they're here. I don't know what it means. Hello? They're here, they're here, they're here. Oh my gosh, look at them. Why are they getting in the elevator? Wow, I, I was right on the money with the Mickey Mouse voice. We get our first visit from Bottle and Cappy and then we're attacked by Death Claws. With interesting music playing. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. I'd kind of like the Death Claws to be dead already. You're ruining Bottle and Cappy fun time. Was it really horrible timing or are Death Claws going to show up every single time that you show up? Because I can't say that's a 100% magically fun time Nuka Cola world ness. Hashtag trademark. Hello, everybody out there on YouTube land. My name is Dan Chaos, and welcome back to Fallout Shelter with Jeffrey and Jose, who are on a weapons run to recover the main stash of weapons. A daily quest that I'm sorely in need of. This is a really high quest. It's like 30 is the minimum level. So I outfitted them with the best stuff and I gave them the maximum number of stim packs I could because I don't know what to expect from this. I do know that I kind of want to have everybody up to par as far as weapons go in my vault. So this is kind of necessary. A necessary evil. That's a necessary good actually. I need to get me some fragments. I could buy them with the new Coca-Cola that I'm not using for anything. But I want to see how many of them I can actually get out in the wilds before I go and spend money on them. And here's where the danger... You shot that backwards. <laughs> here's where the danger actually plays in. Because, uh, you are very much in pain. And you're Jonathan, not Jose. Well, sorry. Do these adventuring clothes make me look fat? No, the fat makes you look fat. <laughs> That's the greatest answer ever! And we got all this loot for it. That was that was good. Jo when you when you have good jokes in the midst of controversy, you know you're gonna you're gonna win. You're gonna come out on top. We are done. I want to see how done we really are. I want to see how long I can survive before we have to retreat. Boom. Yep. It seems like I'm facing more and more adversaries as I proceed. Worser ones. As long as we don't run into a death claw. We should be fine, because we keep getting stim packs on the way. Oh, what the heck? I did not jinx myself, I swear. Oh, this is painful. This is bad. This is very, this is only one. But still, one is a lonely number, especially when you die. All right, we got it. I don't know how the aiming system works, but as long as you keep hitting them from any direction, you keep on keeping on, Jeffrey. We got it. We got it. This first, first death claw I've had to deal with out in the wild. We were prepared. So when we get back to the ball, we're still gonna hang out. And I, uh, I don't really know. I can't say for sure. Jonathan, you're not answering him, so it's probably a no. <laughs> you want a friend who sniffs? Get a dog. We got dogs. What is that smell? I emphasized the wrong word. But we already went over this. If you want a friend that smells, get a dog. Give me a status report. Um, I'm in a weird place with you. That's my kind of statistics. Without running water, I wonder how anyone... Oh. Oh, I see. We don't need to see that. Quit seeing things. Nope, definitely not seeing this. Wow, humans really did screw things up royally. Whoa! I got something that was royally awesome! I don't know what that was. That was probably like a legendary blueprint. Whatever it was, it was shiny. Oh. That is also shiny, I approve of that. Good news? Great news! My two toughest hombres have made it through six layers of fear with six impacts left. I call that a win. I also call that an exit strategy. Let's get out of here. What the hell we got? Legendary weapon recipe. Theme fragments, theme fragments. Up the wazoo! Woohoo! Take a moment and listen to what you're about to hear.
Man, there's something satisfying about that. I'm here to show you the progress I've made, because I've made quite a bit of it. I have extended, expanded, and upgraded our gaming center, school, living quarters, fitness center, the whole nine yards. All nine rooms. There's more than nine rooms, but you get the gist. We've got basically a whole bunch of work still left to be done, because that, that, you could get up to 200 dwellers. That's my end goal. Quite literally, it will be the end once we have 200 people. We won't be able to stand each other anymore. Family reunions will be hectic. Yada, yada, yada. Bottle and cat B show up once in a while, which gets kind of annoying because then I have to look for three people giving me caps. Why can't you just all enter the same room and just give me money? But yeah, I've exchanged a few of the rooms for the reactors, which has given me a whole lot more energy. And I've got... Water purification, which is taking care of my water purification needs. And we've got a whole lot of food. I moved the Snyder family up here to the highest, but they needed more training. So I've completely given them maxed out on athleticism. And now I decided to throw them all into the strength room. And I figured out something. The, the one thing that is annoying about this game is that it doesn't give you all the details straight away like there's there's a menu for finding out a whole bunch of information but a lot of it is still left to you to figure out like whenever I load up the game it gives me tips and it was like this many episodes into it that I found out that you can actually change your characters names on purpose so I went and uh, fixed uh, Francis uh, fixed her last name to Snyder, and I went ahead and uh, changed Nancy's last name to Snyder because she is officially married to Jesse. And I don't care. They're Raiders. We deal with it. So, that that's basically, uh, basically the family of our vault right now. The Snyder family. It's the Snyder family vault. And I'm okay with it. So I've been, I've been moving people around. I'm kind of I want to have six people in each of these rooms that upgrade them at all times, just so that I get everybody up to snuff. Now, what's going to be this episode? You may ask. Well, the last episode, I spent my entire time doing the Cappy quests, and that's basically what I'm going to be doing now. Sure, there'll be a little bit of of me going over what I've done to the actual vault, but we're going to go out to the open. And do that stuff. Once I take care of these nobodies. Trying to be somebodies. Right now the quest that I've got three of my little dwellers out on is Paula's in a pickle. We're looking for Paula Plumpkin apparently. And no that is not a tongue twister. It's going to be but it's not right now. So we're going to go do all like 15 quests. Can't look at it right now because we are under attack quote unquote. Well dang. This raider had a freaking recipe on him. Of course I'm going to collect that. Hey, Caps. Thank you very much. Uh, I forget how much... Like, I've upgraded as many rooms as I could afford. But, wait, weapons crafting. 60,000 so I could craft legendary weapons. That's going to take a while. And I wanted to fully upgrade uh, my main wastelanders. Uh, Jeffrey and Jonathan right now. You hear that, boys and girls? It's Cappy! And Bottle! They're here to give us caps. Yay. And they improve everybody's happiness. We're almost at 100. I will reach that glorious 100% epiphany stage at some point. But, yes. Jeffrey and Jonathan. I'm trying to get, like, my main characters... Oh, I'm going to call my main characters. I'm trying to get their special stats maxed out all over the place. So not only are they better prepared to go out on quests, but to just send them directly into the wasteland so they'll last longer and get me more stuff. I haven't been sending anybody out until then. Because I don't want to lose anybody, even though I can instantly regain them just by paying caps that these lovely animatronics are paying me with. Thank you! And from what I've discovered, Cappy is the one that gives you the most stuff. He'll, he'll dance a lot. Bottle, he'll dance like... Uh... Twice? Once or twice. 
And then he gets all like sick of being inside the vault and he'll go and want to leave. Somebody stole my sweet roll. I hear it. Well, what I've learned is just uh, keep hot, keep Cappy highlighted and then just keep my eye manually on bottle. That's the only way I can figure it out. It's nice that they're giving me stuff, but they're making me work for it. And then the mysterious stranger just shows up and... Ooh. I like his, his, his music. Hee! Alrighty! Thank you! After a while, they'll stop dancing. So, you, you really gotta find them. Tap that cap. Lost the mysterious stranger. But that's the point. It's hard. It's hard to keep track of all three of them, and they'll never go away. So I've I've earned them forever. Hey, bottle. Hey, Cappy. I think I want to get out. Paula's in a pickle. Rescue Paula Plumpkin. Since there's like 15 quests to this, it's not going to be that easy. But whatever it is. Say hello to Alan, Zenyatta, and April, who I bothered to send out on this quest. Just because I'm, I'm training the others. They gotta get their muscles up. And this should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And yes, I am gonna have to record this episode over the span of a few days, since it takes a whole lot of hours to get to these quests, and there's 15 of them in the total Paula Plumpkin plotline. So forgive me if things start to feel a little bit repetitive. I'll try to cut out most of the fighting unless we have any thoughts. Well, hello. Any relation to Paul Plumpkin? Are you the rescue squad? I sure hope so. I'm Mandy McIntosh. The feral ghouls captured a bunch of us. I'm sensing a theme. I think they were saving us all for snack. One lady, Paula Plumpkin, managed to escape. She's my new hero, but she didn't take you with her. Did Paula say where she was going? I think she missed visiting some vault vault. 333? There's a lot of threes there. Paula's in a pickle. Never thought I'd say this, but I missed the vault. If we're your hero, how come we don't get to rescue you and bring you back to our vault? Paula didn't rescue you either. But yeah, Plumpkin, Pumpkin, Macintosh, Apple. There's a whole fall season of fruit theme going on here. Maybe there's, maybe it's just food in general. Kind of makes you hungry for more. Whoa, 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 hold it right there. I'm Overseer Patel. You can't just walk around in here all willy-nilly. I'm not willy. We've had a lot of trouble with raiders lately. Trust has to be earned. Ugh, oh, fine. What do we need to do? Uh, may is there more to the vault? Can I just not see it? Maybe they're hiding Paula in the closet somewhere? Gladly. What can we do? It? Dang it. We've got questions. You're going to answer them. We're not going to fight other vault dwellers. Which one of you said that? Was it you, Nicholas? That creepy Jason mask is getting to you. We would gladly help. I think that's what Eugene would say. He's got the suit for it. Could you kill Frank the tank? He raids us all the time. He's in that building down the road. This might help. Will it help? By the numbers, people. By Vault 333, there was nothing here for... Scratch that! We got something with claws! Then we're done. That was a quick jaunt. I guess now we're gonna go take out Frank the Tank. Take him out on a date. Candle. Italian. Is Italian good for a first date? Well, hello! I'm Frank the Tank, and I'm gunning for you fools. Did you really have to open up on a one-liner? Didn't even get to respond to that. I was gonna I thought I was gonna be disappointed that you didn't actually look like a tank. But you're pretty well beefed up, so I approve of your nickname. I don't, however, approve of you kidnapping innocent people like Paula Plumpkin. It's the great Paula Plumpkin, Charlie Brown. Douglas, Cheyenne, and Daniel are returning to Vault 333 because our end of the bargain was to kill a giant raider. And apparently now we're going to learn it was a slaughter, a carnal nightmare. What happened? While you were fighting Frank the Tank, his sister came here and attacked. Overseer Patel is dead, and we're next unless you stop her. Please kill Regina Rage. But I just got here. Feels like the right way. It does. Oh, wait. wait. I did. We have to fight here? But I thought it was just a 
come back here with a notepad and a piece of paper saying we killed him and you give us an IOU or something. I didn't bring Cheyenne and myself here because we were fighters. I just thought it'd be nice to take them out of the vault for a change. Regina. Regina Falange. Is it true you killed my brother? Well, you ain't taking me down. Well, then why just show up here, huh? Aha! It's the Journal of the Overseer at Patel! Hmm. What's this passage? Had an interesting visitor, Paula Plumpkin. Weird name, nice lady. Wouldn't doubt it. She headed out to visit Vault 909, but I told her it had been overrun. She didn't care, something about an epic quest. Alrighty then. Hey everybody, welcome Jason Hicks, who I'm going to just throw into any old random place, is our local murder new... Is Nicholas our local killer here? Or did I say... No, you are here. Where the oh you are you're right there you are. I'm gonna have to change your outfit. Apparently you're now an accountant, Nicholas. I think there's a reason I gave you that mask. But that belongs to our friend Jason here. Does he look good in it? I think he looks good in it. Search Vault 909 for Paula Plumpkin. Do these adventuring clothes make me look fat? No, the fat makes you look fat. <laughs> I love that joke. And it's not true though, Xehanort's just being mean, Jessica. It's what he does. No, you killed my precious pets, my radical red scorpions. First I annoyed Paul Plumpkin and now you? At least she had the decency to leave my babies alone. Any final requests? Yes, tell us where Paul Plumpkin went. Fine, she said something about the nuclear power plant. Now die. We may just die actually. Oh, this, oh, Jessica. Jessica! And we're gone. You see what we have here, folks, is a failure to recognize futility. I thought just because this quest was lower level that I could do it with these fresh faces, but it looks like I'm gonna have to use the standard, the staple, the magnum opus of characters. I'm gonna have to bring in the Triple J to take care of this, make it all go away. That's the only way we're gonna get through these Paula Plumpkin quests. I don't even know how long this video is going on because it's gone on for a few days, but I'm just going to leave it here. We are going to pick up on the Paula Plumpkin pursuit later with a few faces that are also better equipped for all of this. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see. And I'll see all you dudes in the next one. Bye.